Welcome back to Samurai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, I'll be teaching you how to make um, your drapes on the dress form. Okay, so as you can see on the thumbnail, this particular drape can be used for any dress. All you need to do is to learn the technique to draping this and sewing it to the waistline of your dress. So as you can see right there, you can see the beautiful drapes. Can you see them? So you can go ahead and iron them if you want to iron the pleatings, okay? We also have a little pleating under there, as you can see right on the thumbnail, okay? So if this is what you want to learn in this class, please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So as you can see on the thumbnail right there, you can see we have a beautiful dress in there and we have drapings on, on top of it as well. So I'll be showing you how to do that right here on your dress form. So this is um, my dress form. So the dress you are making should be the size of your dress form, okay? Even if it's not the size, you can just, you know, uh, take the measurement of what we have right there for the dress. So to make that drape, I'm going to take the point at which the drape is going to sit to the waistline. So I have it above the bust area now. So I place my tape there and I'm going to take it to the side of the waistline. So this is my waistline. You can see how I took that measurement. Okay, from here to here. So here I have 13. You can also take that on the body of the of the client you are making the um, the drape for. So the length is 13 inches, but I'll be working with 14 because I need to stitch it to the waistline. Then from that point where the drape is going to be, I'll measure it again across to this other side. Okay. So on the side here, I have 15 inches. But because I'm going to make pleats to it, I'm going to add my pleats and allowance. So I can be working with 25. I'm adding 10 more inches. So I'm going to cut my uh, pepper, which I'm going to use to make this drape. I'm going to cut my pepper 25 inches by by 13, uh, 14 inches so I'll mark out the length at 25 I'll mark out the length at 25 and I'll mark out the width at 14 this is the width at 14 so I'll just cut this now. So that will tell me the size of paper I'm going to work with. So I'll just cut right now. So whatever I'm doing here, that is exactly what you are going to do for your fabric. So I will go come over with the drapes now. So this is how to place it. So because then um, you the measurement we took care because we are going to drape. So instead of taking that 14, you can make do of the whole 18 inches. If you have excess, you can cut it off. So I will come in with my pins now. And I'll start to drape. So to start off this drape, you can see the I'll be using this side of my paper so you can see the pointy parts I'll place the pointy part above the I'll place it this way and I'll secure the side with my pin on the waist line okay so I will just make just as it is on the thumbnail under the bust I'll make a little um, a little that 
I just make a little dart under it this way. Then the rest of it of my plates, I'm going to direct it to the bus this way. Okay, let me take out the arm of this so I'll be able to. So no matter how many plates you want to go by, it's your choice. So as we have right there on the thumbnail, I think we have about three of the plates. So I'll push it a little bit to what I have on the waist. So make sure you have your pins all over, holding down. So on the waistline. So I'm going to, I pinned it on my waistline right now, and I'm going to mark out the waistline. So this is the waistline. I just saw the waistline now. So I'll mark it to the side of this. Can you see? Then I'll come in and do what and cut. Okay, so make sure you have it on the waistline. So I'll just reposition it now. Okay. So you can see the, those drapes. So you have to place your drape the way you want. Then the next thing I'll be doing is to, I can actually make a line. Just as we have it on the thumbnail, you can see it's sharp at this point. So I can just come in with my, with my ruler. Or I can use my, so you can just draw to that point and make it sharp to the side. Okay. I see that. So that is that. So I'm going to pin it more right now. And I'll be taking it to the dress form. Okay. To show you how it looks. So this drape, you are going to make it right on your dress. Right on your dress. Okay. But first of all, I will advise you to mark it out on paper the way it is before you sew it into the waistline. But I'll show you what it looks like first on the um, standing this uh, drape. So I'm going to make my pleats. I'm going to mark out the pleated fabric. So by the time you take this paper off and you want to transfer it to fabric, you need to know where the pleatings are. So I'll make this mark for my pleating. So once I open it now, you are going to see this mark. I'll show you how to go about it. Then I'll make this mark. And so wherever I make this mark, that will be my pleating. I'll go ahead 
and make so let me stand it for you to see first then we'll proceed with the rest of the tutorial all right so right now this is how it is on the dress form okay so i'm going to bring it out as it is right here and i will show you how to transfer it on fabric so once it gets to the fabric you are going to um pleat it same way on fabric iron it out then sew it to the base of your of the dress okay so let's go back to the table so now i'm going to take it off from um, the dress form so before you take it off be sure you have all the markings of your pleats okay so for this part i have the marking so i'm transferring all my markings so i'll now take off my uh, the dress form at least i've gotten the shape of what i need to sew to my dress So I'll take out the dress form. So this is what you have to transfer on the fabric. So like the the places I marked, you can see this and this is for the first pleat on your fabric. This and this, this one and this one is the second. Pleats. Can you see that? This and this is the third pleat, and this and this is the last pleat. So, this is how you are going to um, you first of all spread it and cut. So, if I, you fold it into two, your fabric, and this is the straight. Edge. So this straight edge is going to lay this way. Can you see? So it's going to lay this way. So I'll just secure it with my pins. I'll secure with my pins. So you can see this part is on the straight edge. So I just go ahead and add 0.5. This 0.5 I'm adding here is going to be for um, for sewing into the waistline. Okay. So your dress before you add this, your dress is supposed to be um, on the half scale. Okay, you will do this before joining to the uh, joining it to the uh, bodies, so to the waistline. So I'll just go ahead and cut this, adding my point five two. So I'm going to cut my peplum stay too. I will cut my, take off my pattern and use this to cut my peplum stay. So this is what we have on the fabric. So of course you you know that uh, these points are the points of your pleats. These points are the points of your pleats. So I'll just transfer them. Please don't forget to transfer them. It's very important. 
So I'll use my chalk to transfer them. So by the time I take off, I'll pleat. Okay, so that is it. So I'll separate, uh, keep this one apart and bring in my teflon stay to cut. So this is teflon stay or hard stay. Alright, so this is my stay. And I've cut it out using following the same shape, okay? So this is it, and I'm going to. So I just added little 0 0.5 inch uh, seam allowance, just like I did on the other one. So I'll take up my paper now, and I'll bring in my fabric. So I still have my straight edge. So gum, take this in inside, and I'll be going to my I'll be going to my ironing table to iron it. Okay. So just go ahead and give it a good press, so you can see it there. I'll bring this one to cover it. So I'll just quickly go and give it a good press now and bring it back to show you how to attach it to the bodies. So I've stayed it as you can see. So I have my stay inside. So the part that sticks, I'll turn it around. Okay, so I'll go over to my machine now. I'm going to close only one side. This side alone, that is the part I'm going to sew. I'll sew this part and turn. Because that is the part that will be exposed to that uh, part we measured. This part is going to go into the seam line. So I wouldn't bother doing anything to it. So I'll quickly go now, sew this and turn. I'll bring it back to show you how to sew it to the bodies. So now I've stitched that part, leaving this part open. So I'll just go ahead and turn it. So you can see how I'm turning it. So I've turned it right now. So you can still go ahead and then iron it out, okay? So I'll just go to my iron and hold this part, okay, with my iron. Then I'll also run a stitch to hold my um, peplum stay with the lining and fabric before we go ahead to sew it. So now I'm done uh, holding my stitches. You can see I ran my stitches all over. And this one will be by the side of the drape. So I'll start my pleating, okay? This is the first pleat, okay? So you can see how I angled it because this particular um, that is supposed to go be pointing, it should be pointing at the bust point, and this is the point at which it's pointing. So it's actually a very small that. So I'll just go ahead and hold it down with my pin. So I have my peplum stay here, so it might actually be a little bit difficult to pin, but just try your best to pin. While this one will be pointing towards this part, can you see that? So, better know where the position at which you pointed it before the pleats are facing. Okay, then this one.
Okay, this pin is very weak. Then finally, this one is the one, although I was supposed to mark here anyway, but I believe you understand what I did here. So this is the part that is pointing. So I'll just go over to the machine now, and I'm going to sew this holding my pleats, okay? Then I can also iron it out. I can just, after doing this, I'll iron it out and I'll bring it back for you to see. So I've held the pleats, as you can see. So all the pleats are held right now. Can you see that? So I have to put this one in. This is the part that is going to be sewn by the side. So when you are sewing it on the side of the dress, you'll be sewing it this way. Okay, everything lays like this. So I'll be placing it on the dress form now. Of course, you have seen it, you know. So that's how to go about this beautiful drape. So I believe you learned a lot from this class. So you can go ahead to embellish the waistline as you wish to, to make it more gorgeous. So before you do this, you need, like what we have on the thumbnail is a plain lace fabric. So you are going to cut the bodies without that. Just a plain dress decorated with these drapes, okay? So you can go ahead and sew your dress upper part completely and pin them, this one, to the waistline, okay? Stitch and join your skirt piece. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial. And if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section. And your suggestions as well. Thank you for coming and see you in the next class. Bye.